Precise moisture measurements? Magic Plant's got you covered. Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. Have you ever been on site and wanted to document an area affected by water damage and thought, man, I wish Magic Plan could help me do that? Well, we can. And I wanted to show you guys today how we actually do that and how you can use this when you're doing moisture mapping in the future or trying to annotate where mold damage is at one of your next jobs. So what I've done is I've actually put some stickers here on two areas here in our office. We have point number two and point number one right here. I've actually gone ahead and created point number two here for you just to quickly show you what this affected areas feature looks like. So this is something that is available to anybody uh, using Magic Plan. And what this does is it allows you to define a specific area in your floor plan and it will give you stuff like area calculations. You'll see this right here in the info tab. You can give it a specific name. So I've used our numbering system here called this floor water damage. I can even adjust things like color, right? Color coding is really important for your diagrams that you're creating. So water damage, I've made this blue, right? So how do I actually capture one? Let's jump over to the wall here. If I go up to this wall, I'll have a section that says add new area under the affected areas tab. I'll tap that. It'll highlight the whole wall. Now we'll just drag and adjust this to reflect the area of the wall that's damaged, right? So I'm saying it's approximately this area here beneath the TV. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and give this a name. So let's call this wall water damage and our numbering system, this is number one. Cool. Maybe I wanna give this a different color. Maybe this is the source of the water damage. So I wanna make it red, easy. Done. And maybe for good measure, I wanna capture a photo just so that I have some documentation. I have our timestamp feature turned on in the bottom right of the photo. Capture that screenshot, save it. And now I have not only defined that area and gotten some basic information, I have also captured a photo to represent the area in my floor plan with photo documentation. Now, it's great to be able to define areas that are affected by water, mold, what have you, but actually taking measurements is really important. So I have a Tramex ME5 right here. We have integration with Tramex. I'm gonna go ahead and click insert. I'll drop one of these meters in here. And I'm gonna click use moisture meter. Via Bluetooth, I'm automatically connected. Let me check the setting. I'm gonna drop this right there. Click use readings. And for good measure, pull out the camera and take a time stamped screenshot of that meter and attach it. So not only can you define your affected areas, you can go ahead and start capturing your measurements that you're gathering on site. So why is this important? Let's jump over to the studio and talk a little more about that. Before we move on, did you know that the data you just captured can instantly become a detailed PDF report? Highlight what matters most and share it with everyone that matters. Export the PDF report your way right now. Now let's jump back into the studio. If you work in water mitigation, we believe here at Magic Plan that this combination of tools is gonna to be very, very helpful for you in your day-to-day -day operations. Whether you're doing moisture mapping with the affected areas feature or using your Tramex moisture meter to actually capture those measurements for your on-site visits. We hope that this is helpful for you and we'd love to hear your feedback. So like this video, subscribe to our channel and drop us a comment below and let us know what do you think. Till then, have a great day.